This occurs rather research on this uh, oyster species yes. are particularly receptive to these messages. Southwestern Puerto Rico historically has been agriculture. It was agricultural land. We have over 100,000 acres of agricultural land in this belt. And this was almost 99.99% sugarcane. Basically, the sugarcane industry died. It's very ironic that we are also biggest producers of rum. And it's ironic that our rum manufacturers import their molasses from other places. So our first uh, job was to go there and see what we can do to bring up agriculture here, not only in terms of selling molasses to, to rum companies, but starting a bioethanol plant that can use the, the bagasse. What it is going to do for us if we are able to cultivate even 50% of the land that we have, say around 35 to 50,000 uh, uh, acres, what it's going to do for us is it is going to shoot down the unemployment rate here. Most people are unemployed. Most of the people in this part of the country are on welfare. What we want to do is to lift the agriculture, and though that the expertise here is basically agriculture. So why not use our strengths and put agriculture into motion again, start producing sugarcane, start producing other crops that we can use for the, for the production of, uh, of alternative fuels. It is going to create a lot of jobs, and what that is going to do for us is it'll, it'll be It'll be an incredible boom to this, this little town that is pretty much starting to die. Biofuels are, are substances that are derived from biological means and taking advantage of this termites here, actually the, the wood that they are eating is actually a sugar complex from the wood. Wood is made out of sugar in, in a complex form and they have, the termites have the ability to break up this wood and break up the wood into sugar which then they can they can metabolize we know that the bac that bacteria live in the termite and the termite itself cannot degrade all this wood so we we're looking at what's inside the termite which is actually uh, bacteria so what we do is we extract the bacteria from the termite gut and then break open the bacteria to remove the DNA and look for the specific genes that can break down the sugars. We clone those genes, we put them into more friendly hosts, say like E. coli, and then we start producing these enzymes in bulk. Once we produce these enzymes in bulk, we can now take the biomass, process it with these enzymes, convert it into sugars, add a second organism, a yeast, if you will, that can convert the sugars into alcohol. At the same time, this process of fermentation converting sugars to ethanol releases carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide is one of the main culprits of global warming so what we needed to do was we needed to find an alternative to how we can use this carbon dioxide efficiently and that's where the algae come in microalgae are a group of organisms that can actually cons uh, consume carbon dioxide and solar light and convert this to grow use these things as energy building blocks to grow so you have sunlight and sun energy and uh, light energy and carbon dioxide what they make is carbohydrates and those carbohydrates are eventually cons uh, converted to other polymers 
in this case, there are several groups of microalgae that produce lipids or oils. Sometimes there are some strains of algae that can produce about 60% of its weight in oils. And they accumulate these oils inside the cell. So basically, these oils, depending on the chain length, can be converted on a one-to-one -one ratio to biodiesel. Now, whatever is left over after extraction of oils can now be recycled either as feed or fertilizer. Oil is not renewable. I mean, renewable in the sense that once you've depleted the oil supply, I think you can get no more. But biofuels, you can always harness harnessed wood, which actually, remember, wood is the byproduct of photosynthesis, which is in turn energy from the sun being stored in the wood. So that's why we call it renewable energy. And it always it will always have a supply as long as the sun keeps shining on us. So. <laughs>